Hey guys, so it's been a really long time since I made a video. Um, basically, I just wanted to take a break from making YouTube videos, and I ended up taking a lot longer of a break than I would have liked, and then I kind of ended up having a baby. So my pregnancy was pretty rough. The beginning, I was sick a lot, and the middle was kind of okay, and then the end, I was just exhausted. So now I have a son, and his name's Ren. He is almost four months old, so I was thinking I could try to start making videos again. I'm going to try to make them on a regular basis. We'll see how it goes. So, to get to the point of the video, um, as you guys might have noticed, my hair is a lot lighter than the last time you probably saw me. So, my hair was dark throughout my whole pregnancy, and I got really bored of it because that's like really long time for me to go without coloring my hair. So um, about a month or two after I had my baby, I decided to change it up and add some highlights. And I can't remember which kit I used, but I just did like a box at home thing. And it was for like a caramel kind of highlights. And um, the first time it turned out really, really orange. So all I did with that was I used some purple shampoo and it seemed to tame it down a bit. It had a lot of yellow in it, so that helped a lot. So then I went over with more highlights recently, and in this light, it almost looks not as bad. So if this looks kind of funky to you, it's way worse when I'm outside. It's like yellow. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of yellow up here, and the bottom's kind of caramely, but it has a little, little bit of brassiness in it as well. So what I wanted to do was just, I was going to buy a toner, but then I was at the grocery store and I don't get out a lot these days, so um, I saw this Revlon Medium Ash Blonde uh, color, so I thought I would just kind of tone down the brassiness with this. No, I do not expect my hair to turn blonde. I'm not looking to have this color of hair if I was to go blonde, which I have before. I've gone like platinum blonde and I did it myself and I did it with more like professional bleach and stuff like that. I'll insert a picture here if you guys are curious. Basically I just wanted an ash color to just tone down this really bright yellow in my hair. I couldn't find many people that did a review on this whether they were using it just to color their hair or using it to tone their hair. Um, there was really not a lot on it, so I decided to do a review on it. So I bought this for, I think it was $2.99 at King Supers at my grocery store. So um, that's a really good price, and I don't know if there's going to be enough in here for my hair. My hair's pretty long. It's not that long. I had a haircut recently. Um, but hopefully there's enough, and... It's supposed to leave your hair in better condition than before, and it's ammonia free. So first things first, I'm wearing a crappy t-shirt so that I can get the color all over it because I'm messy. Um, that's number one. Two, I have unwashed hair. If you can't tell, it's pretty oily looking. Um, that's just to protect my scalp. Um, if you've ever colored your hair with clean hair, you'll notice that your head gets itchy and sometimes it hurts. So putting chemicals on your scalp, you want those oils to be there in order to protect it. So it comes with the instructions and I'm just putting the gloves on. These are just the normal cheap plasticky gloves. They're nothing special. Some of the newer ones come with nice ones, but you can't expect much if you're paying $3. Okay, so it comes with the instructions, the cream color developer, the ammonia free color, this is just the color, um, and then your conditioner in a little packet like that. So the first thing it tells me to do is to cut off the tip of this. So I'm going to go do that. I don't have scissors in here. I will be right back. So now I'm going to take off the lid of this and I'm going to open the color. Pour the color into the developer. Make 
Just shake it. Once it's mixed up pretty well, I'm going to start applying it to my roots, which, as you can see, are dark because I've just been adding highlights with a highlighting cap, so it's not going to get right to my roots. This shouldn't really lighten up my roots a whole lot. It might make them like a light brown. But other than that, it shouldn't do a whole lot. So I'm putting it in my roots first just because um, I don't want any patchiness on my roots. And that can sometimes happen if the other hair gets on it. And yeah. I'm not like patient enough to like section off my hair and stuff. Unless I'm bleaching it. When I bleach it, I definitely section it off. Um, but when I'm adding just a color to my hair, I, it's just a lot of work when I can just, I don't know, I've always done it this way, I've been coloring my hair since I was a teenager, so, and I've never had a problem with missing spots and all that stuff. So, it's up to you. If you feel more comfortable separating your hair off, you can do that. Okay, so now that my roots are done, I'm just going to put it on the rest of my hair. And again, I don't do this in any sort of organized way. I just put it in. So this stuff really stinks. Like, really stinks. It almost smells like nail polish remover. Not enjoying the smell at all. Alright, so I've got it all in my hair. Literally, the bottle's empty, and when I color my hair, I really like to saturate it just to make sure that I haven't missed any spots, and I think there was just enough for my hair. So I think it's all pretty good. I'm going to rub it in a little more. Um, just in case there's spots that I missed, because sometimes... You know, you can easily miss them when you see, like, to me that doesn't, it just, it's, there's not quite enough for my hair. And I have very thin hair, and it's pretty long. So if you have thicker hair, and it is my length, you're probably going to want two bottles. And if you have thin hair, and it's longer than mine, you're probably going to want two bottles. So, um... Yeah, that's just a heads up. It it's cheap, but you not you don't get a whole lot, so that's part of why stuff is cheap, you know, you get what you pay for. So it says now to time it for twenty-five minutes. Alright guys, so it's been twenty-five minutes. I'm going to rinse this out and use the conditioner um, basically it says after coloring rinse color from hair completely apply after color conditioner to hair and gently massage to thoroughly saturate leave in for two minutes and then rinse so I'm gonna go do that and I will come back when my hair is done alright guys so I'm back and this is the results um, I don't know if this light still makes it look yellowy but I can definitely tell the difference. It definitely looks a lot more natural. Um, the lighter highlights are more of a blonde color now and um, underneath is more of a nice brown instead of dark orange. <laughs> but I'll insert a picture here where you can see it a little bit better. Um, but I definitely like it. It turned out exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, it's even. It came out very even, so I didn't 
I don't think I missed any spots. My roots turned kind of a light brown color, which is fine. That's what I thought they would do for this product. It says that it leaves your hair in better condition than before. I didn't actually count on that happening because you're putting like chemicals on your hair. It shouldn't be in better condition than before. So um, I didn't expect it to, but I was actually surprised because the smell was so strong. Like I said, it smelled like, to me it smelled like nail polish remover. It was disgusting. Um, my bathroom still smells like that right now. So um, yeah, if you don't like really strong yucky smells like that, you're not going to want to use this product. But what surprised me was when I was rinsing the color out. Normally your hair feels really dry until you put the conditioner on. But when this stuff rinsed out, my hair felt pretty soft. Like I had just shampooed it. Like it wasn't, you know, silky soft, but it was like soft. And I'm just not used to that. Normally when I use a hair color, when you first take it out, your hair just feels like dry. And this this stuff actually, it, when it came out, it felt pretty good. My hair was dry already. I mean, I put bleach in it to highlight it, so my ends are dry. There's no way around it. It feels, the ends feel a little drier now, but overall, it's soft. It doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look like ridiculously dry. It's shiny. It still like has movement. Like if you've ever really dried out or destroyed your hair, you know what I'm talking about. Your hair doesn't really move and there's really frizzy spots. So I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out and I'm really happy with this product. For $3, if you really want to tone your hair, you could use one of their ash colors. They have like an ultra light ash or something like that too. I just did the medium ash blonde. It looks like this. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you don't want to like, you know, totally damage your hair if you've already put bleach on it. Uh, I don't know how it would look on somebody who's just literally trying to get this color. Um, like I said, I was just using it to kind of tone down the brassiness and um, yeah I'm really impressed and, and I would definitely repurchase this product for this reason so that's pretty much all I had to talk about if you guys if I missed anything if you guys have any questions put those below if you guys like this video please like and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching bye